Hello guys, it's me from Texo, and I'm going to go through a new video today, and it's going to be starting a new series on how to start programming within Microsoft Visual Studio. Microsoft Visual Studio is a free program that you can get from the Microsoft website. Or, if you are a student, you can get the Express version for free, as long as you have a student ID. Other than that, you don't need anything else. So what you want to start off, when you come up to the menu, you want to click File, New Project, Windows, Console Application, and name it what you want to call it. I've already got one open, so I'm going to click off. And the first word we're going to start teaching you is Console. Console directs the name, and there's two words that you're going to really use with Console if you're going to start getting into the basics. is Write and Read. Write means display. Read means take in, if I'm going to make that easy for you. So we're going to start off with right. Make sure you give a bracket and a speech mark when you want it to write something. You don't have to have speech marks for more advanced things, but we'll go into that in a later depth of a different episode. So we're going to say hello world. Okay, and what we're doing, we're going to try using that. And what's going to happen? Nothing happens. The reason why is because I have not put in a console.read. So a console.read tells the whole program to read whatever I've put in it and display it for my viewing pleasure. So console dot read. Now we vote that, let's see what happens. And sure enough it's up here. We get hello world. So now you've learned how to write. There's only another console that write I want you to learn is that this when it comes up, I'll show it again. It shows that you have to type on the end. So I'm going to show you if you want to change that and make it into paragraph sentences. So you want to write in line. What that will do, it will read that and make it go down to the second line. So if we see it now, it will show that it's put it down to the second line and now I can type in whatever I want. So. Now we've done that, we're going to get into a little bit more advanced stuff, so we're going to go, uh, we're going to type in, we're going to make a simple program that asks for people's age. So, and then we put in a space, make sure you have a space or whenever you enter something it won't write it in, so, and it won't so we're going to start using div words. Div. This we're going to start making a div. No, it's not going to take in div. Why is it not taking in div? All right, it's not taking in div. Oh, not div. Dim. Sorry. Dim. Age. Give it a name. As an integer. An integer means number. Now we've given it a number, we can start asking things. So console.writeline, enter your age please, so it will ask it to ask your age. Now what we want to do is let the user input something and be able to store that data. So we're going to put in age equals console.readline. And what that'll do, that'll read the line that you've just put in and it'll store it for later use. So now this has been put in. It will ask me, enter my age please, and I will put 17, and nothing happens because I haven't told the command to do anything yet. So, we're going to put in something called an if statement. An if statement it means it will change the variable depending on what you put in. So, if age equals under 15, then and now make sure you write whatever you want it to happen so I want to put a console line in here make sure you put it in between the in def, end def and if so we put in console.write line I think you are too young to be this website. What that does 
is a white line depending on what I put in. And this can be used for many different things, especially when you're programming websites and programs put on websites. So if you want to make it age restricted, I think you're too young to be using this website and that makes it easier for the person to use. Then you want to put something in code if age equals over 15 then then we add in console dot right line okay then you're old enough and now what we're gonna do is run this program and see what comes up. Okay so you're asking me into my age. Say I've put in twelve I think you're too young to be using this website. Or, if I restart the program, and I go 17, it will tell me something different. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe, or at least tell me some comments on what you want to see next, or what you felt was constructively criticism about what I've been teaching. Thanks guys, this is Tech Zone, logging out.